I planted these bushes a couple months ago and they have gotten absolutely massive every single day I'm getting um, anywhere between five to ten flowers and these are hibiscus bushes there's a lot of different hibiscuses that you can get I recommend just finding one that does well in your area these ones will survive our winters um, it said when I bought them I can't remember the exact kind that they were but it says that they tolerate temperatures down to negative 30 in the winter but what I do is I just come through every single day and I cut off the flowers and feed them to many of our different reptiles we have here and this plant has paid for itself over and over again already one of the best things I've ever planted one of the best things that we grow here for the animals and I definitely plan on getting more as soon as I can find some but yeah we're gonna go ahead and cut off these flowers and I'm gonna show you feeding them to some of our different lizards all right so we're back here at our baker eye enclosure I just collected an incredible clutch of eggs we're gonna go inside and I will show those to you guys in just a minute but they are doing amazing look at her that's the female she just she's probably gonna run and hide for some reason females seem a little bit more shy especially after they lay eggs but here's one right here this girl's just chilling and then big daddy right over here but let's let's bring one of these flowers in these hibiscus flowers and show you guys how much they love them but oh sorry about the camera moving around I had a wasp flying around my head here we go you guys want some flowers they get a little shy with the camera but this guy here we go munching <laughs> I'm telling you guys they they just love them so much excellent excellent food source for your reptiles amazing food to feed them just perfect and they they really do i mean who who doesn't want free food who doesn't want to grow their own food for their reptiles that's what we all want to do so let's see if this girl wants some come on girl i'm thinking she's got eggs yeah she definitely she has eggs in her belly the female that she ran back there she just laid but we just dug up eggs i got this little lay area that we built up and filled with sand and they just laid some eggs in here but let's we'll toss that on the tray there got wesley here he's always my shadow but we're gonna go ahead give these guys one more hey, see ya this guy's awesome i love those spikes how they lay over like that what a cool lizard these guys make great pets super cool all right we're now inside of the reptile room and we got some flowers with us let's go ahead offer one to rose our rhino iguana she usually goes nuts for them look at her <laughs> oh my goodness Jeez, our Pete's almost dropped that on our head. Here you go. <laughs> Why is she, she's going crazy. Here's your flower. You want that? What's going on with you? I love how sometimes iguanas eat flowers like it's like they're alive. Like they're gonna fight back or something. <laughs> like why are you so ferocious with this thing but but again free food you guys that that hibiscus bush cost me twenty dollars and i get five flowers or so per day from it like go get you one plant it it is free food and if you get one that survives your winters then it's free food for years and years to come so amazing but she gets a flower almost every single day on top of her regular diet that she gets several times per week but just a nice little treat and she definitely as you guys can see enjoys it and here we have some of our baby baker eye hanging out there's not a whole lot left 
They are on our website for sale. We just looked at their parents outside and I'm just going to take this flower and plop it right in there. And that whole flower will be gone by the end of the day. There's another one right back there. All right, and then we have one more enclosure with baby baker eye, and then I will show you guys the eggs that we just collected. All right, one last flower of the day. Nobody jump out on me. There we go. Don't jump out, you guys. Stay in there. There we go. Look at this guy over here. There we go. Chilling. We've got these amazing enclosures. These were made by Rowdy Reptiles. I'll put his information down in the description of the video. These guys are amazing. Oh, here we go. Here, Wes, let's shut this. Can you close it? Can you close it? Because I want to show everybody that. <laughs> Just munching away. Like I said, they love these flowers, and I love being able to give it to them because it's a really healthy food source. And... Um, I love just being able to grow my own food for my reptiles. These guys are now checking it out as well. And that's a nice size meal. These flowers are gigantic. All right, now we're over at the incubator. You guys, full of tegu eggs that are going to be hatching soon. But right here, right here, underneath... You guys can see all of those eggs right there. Those are all baker eye eggs. 16. Wait, is that how many? Yeah, 16 eggs. 16 eggs this year. Last year, I believe she laid seven. So I guess we're doing something right. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just wanted to share how much I have loved having those hibiscus bushes. If you guys see some whatever pick them up and get them planted they really are amazing to have look at this little albino behind me one of shakira's babies from last season doing amazing i'm thinking about keeping we'll see what happens but here for now but all right thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video